Vision. Hello, everybody. I am Brack, and we're back here with another episode of Roommates. When we last left off, we had just went to a party pretty much with... Or we'd done a little drinking game with Rakesh, Anna, Sally, and our good friend Dominique. So we just woke up. I'm pretty sure we're probably feeling a little good. So let's get this started. Class is going to begin any minute now. I really need to get a move on. And then again, honestly, what's my rush? It's a pretty nice day out. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad to skip out on sitting in a classroom. Heck, there are even people sitting in the quad eating and reading books. Wait. Actually, I think I, that one looks familiar. Is that Annie reading? Hey, Annie. Oh, Max, hello. Come on over. I'm reading Ovid. I have a report due later this week. Oh, uh. Play it. We do. We play all the things. Oh, what the hell? I suppose I can't avoid learning entirely. So what's Oval? Ovid, he's a Roman poet. Wow, what a jerk-ass professor gave you that. Actually, I picked it. I'm taking a classic lit course, and uh, I kind of hate Homer. She starts giggling. I kind of have to laugh, too. Well, sure, he's kind of stupid, and abuse is over the top, but I think he's got a good heart. It's all so cartoonish, you know. What? Sometimes you have to roll the dice. Exactly. I mean, there's no need for Ajax to be so cruel and all the graphic weight. You think Homer is cartoonish? Tell me you don't mean. And sometimes you crap out. <laughs> okay, I admit it. I don't know what Homer you're talking about, but if you hate him, I hate him. <laughs> you know, she's laughing at me. Oh, well. He, thanks for the support anyway. You never read, the, I think that's the Elad. I, I, I never read it. Nope, sorry. Classics aren't really my thing. You probably like it. All about a giant war and such. Well, do you read? Mostly sheet music and a few music magazines here and there. So not really a reader then. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm used to people not really being the same old stuff as me. At least you pretended. That's better than most. Ah, that's not fair. I'm not a reader. Doesn't mean I'm not interested. Stories make great songs. Actually, a lot of the old stories started as songs. See, there you go. Oh, but you can't have time right now. Don't you have class? Oh, crap. She's right. Then again, I'm having a lot of fun talking to Annie, and who the hell cares if I miss a class? Not me. Well, come on, Max. You can't skip class. You're here to learn. If you have a class, just go ahead. We can talk later. Roll the dice. Hell, I'm not on a roll here. No need to crimp my style just for some stupid class. We're here for some girls. I'm not going to say what I was thinking about, Sam. I was going to say, well, I've actually got nowhere important to be right now. Are you sure? You seem to kind of hurried before you came over. Definitely. Anyway, you were saying about the old stories being songs. Well, it's not this quarter, but I think maybe next quarter I'm going to sign up for Scandinavian Studies courses. Maybe some of the old story. Wait, fuck. Fuck. Just learn to read. Maybe study some of the old Eddas. Sure. I, may, I imagine the scouts probably saying those... At meat halls. I think I'm the only one that understood. I think the only thing I understood was meat hall. Basically, um, Viking poems. Wait, Vikings had poetry now? I thought they were too busy pillaging, pillaging and killing people. What's a Viking poem? Roses are red, violence is great. After you're dead, I'm <laughs> you're great. I don't know, like that. <laughs> oh, this dude, he cracks me up. Why would the Viking want, to lose, want someone's gate? Hey, you're the history buff, not me. Maybe he had a Viking garden or something. <laughs> I thought they were too busy pillaging for sort of that sort of thing. But clearly they were bringing the gates back to the gardens of their poetry writers. Hmm, I give it a C minus. It was an awful run. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, yeah, it was. We'll both have a good laugh at that one. Who's this douchebag? Look at it. I don't like it. Max, Max, come on. You know the professor will be furious if you're late to class again. Crap, crap. I don't know who just recognized me. I look around for the fender and spot one of the brown nose. Brown nose are from my class. Uh, you must have the wrong dude, dude. I think I've got, I don't think i got any classes right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were, they are just so many punked up douchebags with bad hair in my class. I, I get them all confused. Shut up. Max, you said before you don't have any classes. Have you been skipping? 
Might as well ask if he goes to class at all. Man, look at him. He's trying to lay some moves on this girl. Punch him in the jaw. Max, you go. You're here to get an education and to expand your mind. We could have talked about this later. Ah, oh, come on, Andy. Don't be mad. I was just listening to your stories. I'm sure you just wanted an excuse to stay out of class. Well, go on, Max, before your professor gets mad. Eddie puts the book in front of her face, cutting me off entirely. Guess it's nice just on my side today. With a sigh and a glare that could melt iron reserved for my full sport of a classmate, I head off to class. Ah, she, she don't like us no more. What can you do? All right, so let's send through this shit. I don't know what it is. We got, so we got some, some rock climbing. Not much time left in this weekend. Or left in the weekend. And I haven't really got anything done. I should probably call Memphis and set up some times with the band. Memphis is my second is is my second in my band, Back Alley Flash. He plays the bass. He's been looking for places we can play for the past couple of weeks, but we need to get together and jam for a while. Sorry, Reezy. Oh yes. Yes, yes, my honey pie. Are you crazy? Seriously, you've gone over the edge this time, you crazy control freak. Have you forgotten that this is a college? I know you like to treat it as your own personal hookup bar, but you're supposed to learn. That's no excuse for taking our precious weekend time from us. And in the evenings, some of us have lives to lead, jackass. Apparently Dominique and Isabel are arguing about something. They're certainly being loud enough. I guess I can see what's going on. Then again, I kind of have things I should be doing. Let's play it. If we like this girl, she's a hoe. She's a hoe. Well, it couldn't hurt to find out what they're going on about. If nothing else, it'll shut them up. I'm not stealing your life away, Isabel. I'm asking you to dedicate a few hours on Saturday to actually accomplishing the higher learning you're supposed to be here for. What? You think I can't keep my grades up? My GPA is fine. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're acing every subject while you think about which boy to date next. Screw you. And besides, if you are that good, you should be sharing your skills with the rest of the house. I'm sure Max over there could use the help. Hey, I'd be happy to study with you all, all you like, babe. Oh, well, if that's the type of help you want going around, dumb, maybe I could get, could be talked into it. Want to convince me, Max? Honestly, I don't really know what's going on here. That's not what I was talking about, and you know it. That is, in fact, exactly what I want you to force a study group for. Max, I'm talking to Isabella. Uh, Max, I'm talking to Isabella about enforcing a study hall for the roommates every Saturday evening. A few hours every week for people to get help, the help they need. What do you mean a few hours for you to lock everyone down, keep us trapped for this house while we grow old? Some of us has plans for the weekend, jerk. We'd like to party while we were young, you know. There'll be plenty of time to go have fun on Sunday. Oh, and there'll be plenty of time to go have fun on Sunday night. Oh, yeah, everyone knows the best parties happen on Sundays. Right. Maybe there's more to college than just trying to party all the time. What about people's relationships? Some of us has very busy boyfriends, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me call the professors and let them know. Stop classes next week so you can catch up on your makeouts. Oh, whatever. Well, Max, what about you? Do you have a straight up work ethic in you, or are you just here to screw around? I hope Dushnik isn't hoping I'll back him up. I got plans of my own. I don't need some lame study group holding me back. Wait, then again, this could just be the thing to put a wedge between Isabel and Chad. I mean, hey, it's not my fault if she can go out with him because of Dominique's stupid rules. I just don't know if it's worth giving up my own free time just to spite, just to spite that football douche. It's a stuff position. Stuff position. Go with Isabel. Hey, <laughs> score one. Score one for the home team. Sorry, Dominique. I have to decide with Isabel on this one. Ha! In your face. Oh, yes. It's a huge surprise what Max thinks. He's been trying to get in your pants since the day one. Newsflash, Max, she's got a boyfriend, and if she throws him away, she'll just throw you away, too. There's no excuse to throw away your education. Hey, you can be all pissed you want, but that shit's uncalled for. Max and I simply share the same opinion, 
There's a lot more to college than hanging out with your book, your nose in a book. That lovely lady's got deep. Well, hell, I, I can't read. The lovely lady has got you dead to rats on this one, douche Nick. I've got things to do on the weekend. Oh, and you'll be happy to know that those plans don't bother Isabel. Because, oh yeah, I have a life of my own. You're telling hot stuff. Thanks, babe. Oh, shut up, the both of you. Dominic storms off. Isabel, on the other hand, gives me a high five. I knew you'd have my back stud. I really do have my own reasons, you know. I know, I know. It's just nice of you to help. It's just nice to know you'll back me up. Though you should probably avoid Dominic for a while, like starting immediately. Isabel gives me a week and saunters back to her room. Take the hint and head back to my own room. That, that was not a great event, but okay. All right, so let's keep on going. Keep on trucking. All right, let's go. No event. One of the best parts of living on campus like this is being able to come back for lunch. Because I'll be damned if I'm not going to take advantage of free lunch now and then. I've got a, my mind on a nice sandwich as I re enter the Latin house. Welcome home. Have you decided to cast away the classes of the day? What the holy hell, dude? Keisha's standing in the, com ha the common area completely covered in paint. He doesn't look like he's wearing a t-shirt. What this? Oh, I think I finally found the ultimate paintbrush. Come, see my room. That just struck me, and I had to try it. Is your room the only place you tried it? Hmm. Oh, yes, I thought my walls would be the best place to try it. Is that paint safe to be on your skin? Well, paint can cover many things. Why not on the body? Uh, dude, pretty sure some paints are toxic. Oh, I should probably clean it off. Um... Could you, um, never mind. Keish takes off upstairs with a slightly worried look on his face. <sighs> no, we're not doing Rakesh. That dude is crazy. I mean, flat out. No, I don't want to do, no. Nope. I don't like, I don't like Rakesh. I don't like him. I think he wanted my help, but I'm not getting myself mixed up in that train wreck. Dushnik's going to freak hard enough as it is, and the best way to enjoy that explosion is from the sidelines. Quick lunch, and I'm out of the house as quick as I can. The weird thing is I really didn't hear any water running, just some weird thumping from the bathroom. <laughs> He's probably up there dying, and I didn't even want to help him. I'm like, screw you, Rakesh! All right, so... <laughs> okay. Just another day as I head out the door for my classes... Oops. All right, click. Here's my girl. Here's my girl. Oh, good morning, Max. Sally, good morning. Are you waiting on your way to classes as well? Looks like Sally just left before I did. I, got, I jog a bit to catch up with her as we make our way toward the campus. Actually, I got to get down through farming, through the farming garden. My boss wants me to get some serious weeding done, and I don't want to be there all day. Oh, yeah, you work down there, don't you? How you land that job? My dad runs a vegetable farm. It seemed like a pretty natural way to make some money aside from my scholarships. I actually started there over the summer. Helped me make some moving in money. That makes sense. Hey, think you can put in a good word for me? I'm not sure how to get a job like that otherwise. Well, it's a pretty active job. There are a lot of running around and hard labor. I got a dad waiting ahead for me. For instance, and that's not easy at all. Get used to running around and keeping up in shape. We can teach you how to garden properly. But if you don't have the stamina to keep up, you'll never get a job there. Well, I can certainly try to be active. There you go. It might not seem related, but the football team needs a water person. I'll definitely get you up on your feet keeping up with those guys. Thing is, our farm doesn't have an automatic irrigation system, so you probably find yourself running around the farm watering the plants like you have, like you would the football players. Well, I'd probably get some more intelligent conversation from the plants. Ha! Huh. Ouch. Be nice. This is not. This is. This is. Though it is always nice to talk to plants, it helps them grow. Well, I'm going to send it to the main building. I'm just about to ask where Sally and I will split up when I notice we're actually right in front of the campus cafe. Speaking of work, isn't this where Isabel works? We both look inside to see Isabel shuffling around the relatively busy cafe, one plate in her hand just as we're looking in, though she looks wore out. As soon as she spots us, she beams and waves us over with her free hand. Sally waves back and starts to walk toward the door. Isabel walks the plate over and puts it 
down in front of a large man in a jersey. Oh, great. Look like Chad is here, too. Ain't that just perfect. Ugh, I don't know what I'm if I'm up for dinner with Isabel's boyfriend. Hey, Max, you coming? Hold on. All right, I'm back. Sally's already at the door looking back at me. Take another look inside. Isabel is still talking to Chad. She won't notice if I just spell. It's not like I've got any reason to run. Maybe I can show the asshole Chad that he's got some real competition. Split. Yeah, yeah, hold the door. I'm not going to pussyfoot around just because that stupid jerk is in there. <laughs> Morning, Isabel. Hey, guys, good to see you. Grab a table. I'll be over in a sec. She winks at us and heads behind the counter to grab some el one else's order. Sally and I make our way... Sally and I make our way over to the table. Well, fucking hell. She winks at us and heads back behind the counter to grab someone else's order. Sally and I make our way over to one of the few free tables. Just so happens it's right next to the table Chad's sitting at. You must be Chad. Got it in one. You see me on the field? Um, we're actually Isabel's roommates. Oh yeah, she told me about you guys. He sticks out his hands and shakes, and Sally shakes it. As I move over to shake his hand, he retracts it and just gives me a nod instead. Sup, bro? I just nod in return. He gives me a smirk like I've played right into his hands and turns back to his own plate. Have I mentioned I hate that dude? Sally and I settle on our own table just as Is Isabel comes over. What will it be? Soy latte, please. What have, you, what, what have you got for breakfast? The basics, eggs and bacon. Some pretty good toast. Yeah, that sounds good. Coming right up. You guys say hi to Chad? Yep, just introduced ourselves. I try to grin. I, th I think I grimace. Isabel chuckles. How's it going, Max? Oh, you know, I'm... Hey, Sweet Chase, want to grab me another coffee? You serve up the best stuff. Oh, yeah, sure thing. You got to start paying for it, though. Paul says you don't get a free ride here. What? Come on. Oh, shut up. You'll get my discount at least. Oh, there's a discount? No dice, Mr. Slick. Rip off. Oh, f hell. What? Okay. We was actually talking. The color was look the same as that douchebag. Isabel goes to get Chad's coffee. As she goes past him, he takes the chance to swat her once on the ass. I guess that's supposed to be playful. He smirks at me just after he's done it. Hey, watch it, Chad. Not while I'm on duty, remember? Sorry, cutie. I guess I'm supposed to rise to the bait, but I'm not honestly sure it's, if it's worth it. He probably wants me to start something, but that won't get me anywhere but thrown out. And given his size, probably did. Really can't believe this guy. Fine. If I want to show Isabel that Chad's a jackass is to play his game, then whatever game on. Hmm. I could flirt with Isabel directly and see what Chad does. Oh, I just had a thought. I could try the indirect approach and to make Isabel jealous, throw a few compliments at Sally just to see what she does. Besides, it's not like Sally. It's not like I don't like Sally, too. Which tactic to take? Make Isabel jealous, because I, I like Sally. Yeah, the indirect approach is best, the most effective with the least trouble cause. So, how are classes going, Sally? You seem like you've definitely got your stuff together. I figure you're probably acing it. Ha! Huh. I wish I don't do too badly. I think my GPA is doing all right. Taking a few sociology classes this quarter and it's kind of busting my hump. I'll bust your hump. <laughs> You'll get it for sure. You've got a good head on your shoulders. Well, thanks for saying so. Here you go, Chad. Drink it slow. I won't be off shift for a few hours. Strike now. Besides, if worse comes to worse, you can always just flirt with your professor. He sees those pretty green eyes coming for him. You've got an A plus E. What? I would never. Sally reaches to sat and pet me playfully. I notice Isabel looking at her table with a smile, but I make very sure only to look at Sally. Oh, please. You got feminine, 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 well, hell. Feminine wiles for miles. <laughs> I couldn't say it, man. Pretty blind with a nice body. You have him wrapped around your fingers in a second. Sally may be protesting, but she's blushing lightly while she does it. I would never do that. What's the point to come into college if I can't actually make it? 
Okay, okay, I hear you. Like I said, that's a worst case scenario. I'm sure you'll just be get it fine. Well, thanks. Here's your food, Max. Latte for Sally. As she hand me my food, she makes sure to lean extra far over the table. Meanwhile, I make sure I'm only looking at Sally. Huh. Oh, thanks, Isabel. Thanks, Isabel. Oh, yeah, it's working. Chad frowns at Isabel, then at me, then at Isabel again. As soon as Isabel figures out I'm not going to rise for her bait, she goes back to her behaving normally. But there was definitely some disappointment there. What about you? How are your classes going? Oh, I think I'm doing all right. Honestly, though, I don't think my grades are going to be that good. I'm not the greatest to study. Oh, come on. You have to put your mind to it. You've got the right energy for it. You have a band, right? That takes a lot of dedication and hard work. Am I right? Yeah, that's true. So focus on studying with that dedication. You'll get, a, get ahead in no time. See, didn't I say you're more than smart enough? You're not a dummy either, Max. You may convince me of that yet. We continue to talk about our classes as I eat. Isabel may have come around a few more times, but honestly, I kind of stopped noticing while I was talking to Sally. Once I finish up, make our exits, we both have waved goodbye to Isabel, who waves goodbye a little half-heartedly. Sally and I go in opposite directions after we leave the cafe. I have to wonder if Sally caught on what I was going for when I first started up. Then again, I think by the time I was done, I'd forgot what I was going for. Oh, well, I think about it later. All right, guys, so we're going to call this another episode here. I uh, appreciate you watching. You know, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Peace. So many pieces fell back together now. What's your vision?